Chris Martin with Creative Domain and today's quick tip tutorial is on multipass rendering. Now if you watch the tutorial on uh, multipass rendering and object buffers this scene ought to look pretty familiar to you. Uh, what I've got here is three toruses and a sphere and I've got a light in the scene that's casting a shadow. Now I want to have as much control over this scene when I get it into my compositing program so I'm going to use multipass rendering. So we go up to our render settings and we enable multi-pass rendering here. Now if you open this up you can see that you can control just a multitude of different things. For this example we're going to turn on diffuse, uh, specular, and shadows. You need to make sure that you have your multi-pass uh, selected, checked, and give it a path to where it's going to render uh, your scene out to. And I've also got it set up so that it's going to render an RGB uh, sequence out to uh, uh, this path as well. So after we get that set up, we'll just click on Render. It's going to overwrite the files I used in a previous tutorial. And it renders out the scene. So now in After Effects, we'll go in here, and it creates an AEC file for us. So we'll just open that up. and it creates two folders for us. One of us, one of them has our, our comp in it. So we've got our scene. And it also creates uh, these three object buffers. One is for shadow, one's for specular, and one is for diffuse. We'll just delete these lights. We don't need them. So if we came in here now and we put a curves adjustment on this, on the shadow layer, you can see that we have full control just of the shadows. Same with the specular. We can put on the specular here, put a curves adjustment on that, and you can see the specular highlights are being controlled or isolated. Same with the diffuse. So you can see that's a very powerful technique that uh, you could use in a multitude of ways. So that is the quick tip tutorial for today. I hope that helps.